Chicken Sandwich Gate. We'll continue talking about that in the morning. Right now we're going to talk about chicken in a very different way with Judy Pritchett. She's the chef at the Food Bank's Kid Cafe. And Loretta Jones also joins us this morning from the uh, Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia. And we're going to talk about how to make a great meal. You guys said we can do it for under $10, pan sear chicken and summer squash medley. Uh, absolutely, and a word off salad. And actually, we had so many viewers actually send us recipes, it was very difficult to choose. Yeah. But our nutritionist on staff chose. And so this is the winner. And uh, we're from the Food Bank of the Virginia Peninsula. Mm -hmm. Our sisters are the Southeastern Food Bank here right. in Norfolk. So what we're going to do is uh, Judy's going to talk a little bit about stirring the chicken and what she did to get the chicken ready. Okay, and I know this you know process for you when you're cooking for lots and lots of people actually began the night before cleaning, right. washing all the chicken, and yeah. now you're ready to cook it today so if I'm making this at home what's the first thing I want to do well you want to prepare your chicken you cut it into strips and mm -hmm. season it mm -hmm. and then you add oil to the pan mm -hmm. and saute what, do you like to, what do you like to season it with Judy um, salt pepper the basics. Yes, the base. Nothing too crazy. You got some onions going on. And you can here. also add Italian seasoning. That's too. what this recipe, the viewer who sent us this, had, had suggested the Italian seasoning. So that's what that we have simmering in our chicken right now. Okay, and that's a good way too to maybe cut down on the salt because I know you're feeding kids, you want to keep right. it healthy, and you've got nutritional exactly. guidelines that you're following too. Exactly. What about all these? This is for the vegetable medley that we'll make? Yes, these? it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell yes, me a little yes. bit more about Kids Cafe at the Food Bank. Okay, the uh, well, at the Kids Cafe, I feed. Um, 1,342 kids a week out of a kitchen about the size of someone's kitchen in their home. All right, so you're some kind of wizard then is what you're saying. <laughs> well, in a way, I guess you could say that. <laughs> well, yes. That's the reason we're in a capital campaign, so we yeah. can get an industrial kitchen so with the large pots and pans and more than two to three burners that we can right. use. And that way it won't be so cumbersome for Judy because we have volunteers taking our tables. We're lining them up and making 500 sandwiches while she's doing the hot meals because not all the sites have kitchens. Right. So we do hot and cold day is what I call it. Yeah. Talking about Katy Perry hot and cold <laughs> but uh, what we do is the volunteers work on doing the sandwich assemblies and washing the fruits and vegetables we call that the brown bag and then Judy is out there opening up jars and jars of pasta you know and yeah. doing different things for macaroni and cheese day or spaghetti day or the tuna noodle casserole that we smell all the way upstairs all day long cooking yeah. and she's making big and big trays of these but once we move into the new food bank with our capital campaign this won't be as difficult yeah. as it is now well we but, appreciate what both of you guys are doing we know there is a huge need in the community to feed the hungry especially hungry children we're going to talk more about that mission and more about our recipe we'll move on to the summer squash okay. medley when we come back right now working hard on a recipe today. She is the chef at the Food Bank's Kid Cafe, and this is the Food Bank of the Peninsula. Loretta Jones is also joining us from the Food Bank of the Peninsula today, and we're learning how to make a great dinner for under $10. You can make this for your family, but when Judy makes it, she's usually making it for lots of hungry children in yep. the area sometimes, at the Kids Cafe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes 500 kids at one site. Some sites only have 50, but there are other sites that have 500 kids. Wow. So you can imagine opening that and, and cooking this. Okay. But I think Judy's ready to add the chicken to yes, the vegetables. So catch us up a little bit on what we've been doing since the last time we were here, Judy. You're pretty much sauteing the chicken. You had seasoned it with right. right. a little bit of oil, right. a little bit of oil. And then um, when I was here last, you just had the onions starting to reduce a little bit in this pan. Right. Tell me what you've added in. Okay, I've added the squash, um, the zucchini, and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And then once and seasonings, okay. salt, pepper, and um, um, Italian seasoning. Now, how much do you let the vegetables cook down before you put the chicken in? You let them um, cook down till they're tender, and then just add the chicken mm -hmm. and cook it a little more, mm -hmm. and then it'll be ready to eat. And how do the kids like this dish? Oh, they love it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very nutritional, mm -hmm. and um, it's low calorie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and that's a priority for you guys, right, to make and sure not only, I mean, you could yes. make massive quantities of food that might might not be so nutritious. It's probably harder to make massive quantities of food right. that is nutritious. Right. So many families face the problem, how do I make a nutritional meal and stay within my budget? Yeah. But right now, with the price of zucchini and squash coming in, it's so much cheaper. I mean, it's three for a dollar, or sometimes six for a dollar. Look for the farmer's markets. Look for those roadside stands. Yeah. This is a very inexpensive vegetable, and you could do many things with it. We yeah. love our mom's zucchini bread. But this way, it cooks in. I mean, how many people have snuck 
carrots into their spaghetti and zucchini and squash and things. Your family mm -hmm. doesn't even know it. Mm -hmm. Mine never knows what I put in my lasagna. But this is a way to incorporate fresh fruits and vegetables, yeah. you know, into their diet. And it doesn't cost anything because they're in season right now. It's very low. Yeah. You mentioned a farmer's market. You know, one of the things I know the farmer's market um, down on the south side has done is they've started going into neighborhoods and showing people how to make a community garden. Yes. You know, so maybe you can, we folks can even right. grow. Do you guys right. grow yes, vegetables yes. there? We have uh, six community gardens all around the peninsula. Perfect. And people plant a row for the hungry and they bring it to us. Yes. Whether it's uh, or a lot of tomatoes come in and a ton of sweet potatoes will be coming in soon. Yep. Uh, St. Andrews, they glean and they bring us the excess. And uh, they plant a row and they give us that row. Cucumbers, melons, uh, squash, zucchini. So we're very blessed to have those supporters. And it's so easy to uh, to grow a zucchini and squash. You can do it in container. Yeah. You know, in oh, yeah. We've done that. If I can do it, you know you can do it. All right. Uh, Judy's got this part of our meal just about set, but it's no, we're not finished yet. We still have to make the Waldorf salad. We'll do that right. next right now. Yes. It's time to learn more. in the kitchen. I'm just standing back because these ladies are busy. <laughs> Judy Pritchett is here. She's the chef at the Peninsula Food Bank's Kid Cafe. Loretta Jones is also here this morning. Um, there we go. We're plating up our recipe here. The, uh, the chicken and summer squash medley yes. looks and smells delicious. And Let's see if it passes your taste test. Right. Well, yes. okay. I'll taste a little bit now and then I'll wait, I'll well, wait, for, my, yes. wait for my friends. Um, but while you thought no one was looking, Loretta here put together a Waldorf salad. So right. I want folks to know what went in, in there and well, why you like to make this for the kids. Because right now, apples are in season. Mm. I think you guys actually, you know, covered that. Mm. And apples, kids love apples. And this is a way to add raisins and apples and yogurt. Just a pinch of sugar. There's yogurt in there? Yes. And just a little bit of celery. And so it's a good way to add those vegetables and fruit mm -hmm. to... A dessert, but it's also very nutritious. And while apples are in season and plentiful, they're inexpensive. So you can actually cook the chicken, the vegetables, and dessert for under ten dollars for a family of four to five. It's wow. pretty easily done. Depends if you shop at the farmers market or your local grocery store, or if you actually grow them yourself. Yeah, right. But did you like it? I did. I liked it very much. Did you put the Italian seasoning in this one? Yeah, I can taste it. It's right. delicious. And if you and don't healthy. like Italian seasoning, you can make your own lemon and garlic. Oh, yeah. and oil. You know, herbs that grow together go together. Mm -hmm. So it's whatever your family likes. Your family doesn't like garlic, then then pair it with something else. Yeah. We've even seen this done with a pasta and a marinara too. You know, just do a, just a little penne. Yeah. And then, or I wouldn't recommend a white sauce because we're all about nutrition. Right. But uh, this is a very light summer stuff. You don't want to put on a wool sweater in the summertime. So we're looking for a light, light meals, a light meal great. instead of a big hearty, you know, dinner. Yeah. This is light, very nutritious, very filling. Delicious. Well, we've been talking all month long through the month of September that it is Hunger Action Month. Uh, so you've got that campaign going on so you can get Judy the industrial kitchen she needs yes. to work her magic. So how can we help you? Well, you can visit our website, nnfoodbank.org. Mm -hmm. You can, or if you're actually in Virginia Beach or Norfolk, you have a food bank too. And it takes a community to feed a community. Yes, and is. what we do is we provide hope by giving food. And that's as easy as I can make it, is that 97% of everything that we do, the money we raise, goes back into food. Katy Perry is actually a food bank recipient. She yeah. was on entertainment last night talking about how what a struggle she had growing up and how many times her parents had to rely on a food bank. It, it's just the shame. It's the fastest growing epidemic in the U.S. is a hunger insecurity All by right. the working poor. All right, so count your blessings and count your money. And if there's a little left over, kick it over to the food bank. Just takes a Thanks, dollar. Guys. All right, I'm going to go back over okay. to the couch. Save that for me, though. Okay, okay. and I can finish chopping for the rest of the audience. <laughs>